Ni hao, hi, I'm Alan, and today we're going to be talking about one of my pet peeves in terms of how a shirt should fit. Now, when we're walking outside, or perhaps sometimes some guys come into the store and you see their collar is too big. And what that does is when you have a collar that's too big, and especially when you're wearing a tie, you know, it sort of just sags and just looks unkept. It just makes you look terrible, even though you're wearing a tie and you're dressed up. Now, how should a collar fit? Now, there's a lot of guidelines out there. Oh, you, you need to have a little bit of space in terms of one finger. Now, it's obviously a guideline, so it's what you're comfortable with but as long as it's snug against your neck, right? Now, why is that important? That's important because once it's snug against your neck, it can sit properly in a way that it supports your tie. Now, in terms of the tie fitting properly, now obviously that's another thing that, that gets to me is that sometimes you have ties that are too loose, they're sagging and they're showing the top of your collar gap or even in some cases your whole button. Now it completely misses the point and if you're in boarding school or you're in a school that had a proper uniform you get you know fined by you know the, the disciplinary boy or the, the, the class prefect or whatever whoever does that sort of stuff right. But it should be snug up against your neck and once it's properly fitted now I prefer my collars quite snug uh, but once it's properly fitted, you can see that the tie actually has a nice three-dimensional three-dimensional aspect to it and it sort of curls out. And this way you sort of have an outfit that's not two-dimensional as in like you can't just appreciate it from the front, but from the side you can see that everything has a, a very different aspect to it. So that's one of the things that's quite important in terms of just cleaning up the outfit in terms of your shirt. Now the other thing that really gets to me is the cuffs. Now the cuffs in terms of, especially in Hong Kong and I guess around the world, a lot of the shirt tailors or modern shirt tailors nowadays have a lot of cuffs that just sit too low or just quite open. Now barrel cuffs is one thing uh, but one of the biggest things that, that always happens is with French cuffs. And with French cuffs, I, f I feel that all shirt tailors nowadays have this standard uh, French cuff or double cuff size that's way too big for everybody. And they just show it to people and say, hey, get this, and people just get it in whatever size that they propose. Now, whether it be shirt cuffs, the normal barrel cuffs, or French cuffs, it should be quite snug to your wrist. Now, why should it be snug to your wrist? It's so it can control or show so it or the shirt cuff can control where it is at any point of time, even though you're moving. And if it's snug enough, it won't fall past that taper on your wrist. And on the other hand, it won't pull up too much when you're lifting up your arm. So in terms of mobility, when you're stretching up, I always show this like when you're stretching up and pulling out your luggage when you're flying, not that we're flying nowadays, but you know, it won't retreat or sort of come up past a certain point. Now obviously if you take it off, then it sort of just comes down already. But um, the point is that once it's snug enough, it stays where it should be. And with your jacket, you will always be showing part of your cuff. Um, and there you have it, two ways to really clean up your shirt fit uh, very simply. Thanks for watching.